if you clicked on this video, chances are you have your own favorite NBA team. And no matter what team that is, there is always one place that you never want to see them end up in at the end of the season. The middle slash lower bottom of the standings. Let me quickly explain. When you're at the top of the standings, chances are your team is a championship contender. You are going to have a deep playoff run. Your team is already solidified as a very good team. And when you're at the very bottom, a lot of people think that it's depressing and not fun and pretty miserable. And yeah, during the regular season, it is just a little bit. Or if you're a Kings fan like me and had to go literally your entire life without seeing them make the playoffs once until just two years ago, yeah, it gets pretty miserable. But there's still that excitement and hype about the rebuild, right? Who you're going to draft and who's going to be the one to change your team and really flip things around. But it's that middle gray area where there's just no fun. Like, yeah, you could be a lower team and still make your way in the playoffs and be an underdog, right? The Miami Heat did it just a couple years ago, but that's so rare and we've only ever seen that happen literally once, so I don't really count that as like an exciting part of being a middle-seeded team. And so in this video, we need to talk about those teams that are in that middle section that need to just blow everything up. And funnily enough, the first team I have on this list is actually the Miami Heat. For a team that regular season-wise never really does anything, doesn't really shock anyone or do anything, anything that's too crazy for them to make the finals two out of the last four years yeah it's kind of fucking ridiculous and i know i'm gonna get some hate putting them on this list because they have done exactly that they don't do anything in the regular season but when it comes to the playoffs or the play-in tournament they will always prove everyone wrong and you know what miami heat fans i hope they do i love seeing this team perform bam Adebayo and jimmy butler probably the most underrated like duo that we have seen in quite some time i mean this team is special but with jimmy butler getting older and we don't know how long he's gonna be in Miami for, right? There's been some rumors about him wanting to go elsewhere. I just don't know how much longer you can hold on to this feeling of like, we don't have to perform in the regular season, but the playoffs, we will come through because at the end of the day, the East is getting better. Like they are getting damn good. The 76ers have upgraded with Paul George. The Knicks have upgraded with Mikel Bridges. The Celtics are the reigning champions. You can't count them out of any conversation. So I feel like with this Miami Heat team, you're almost living too much in the past. Like the East is just too good. You, you can't. It's just not going to be possible. I don't want to say this, but one of those finals runs was the bubble. I, I'm, I'm not going to expand on that, okay? But I am going to say that one of them was the bubble. The other one, the Nuggets series, that, that's great. So as controversial as it might be to all the Miami Heat fans that are watching this video, yes, I do think that they should just blow it all up. And that doesn't mean trade literally everything, but I think just reset things, right? That means getting rid of Jimmy Butler. Maybe that means getting rid of Bam Adebayo. Whatever it takes to kind of reset your team. But if there's one thing about the Miami Heat, it's that they are always going to be the franchise to find just the most untapped talent and become good within the matter of a couple years, right? That's not, that's not too big of a worry. Next up on this list is actually the LA Clippers. And I know it's a bit premature to talk about them since they just got rid of Paul George and we haven't really seen them play without him. The Clippers are keeping this team together for one reason and one reason only, the Intuit Dome. And I don't blame them because I want to go to that arena and watch Kawhi Leonard play as well, but they're not going to be a good team. Kawhi Leonard, I, I'm sorry. I've gotten to the point where I cannot trust him to have a fully healthy regular season. If he does, awesome, great. I'm not going to discredit him for that, but I cannot sit here because beginning of the season and predict that things are going to be all sweet. And at the same time, I don't know if we are seeing a Kawhi Leonard that can carry this Clippers team to anything more than like a, a decent first round or second round. And to be honest, you can go back and watch my old videos. I have been saying that the Clippers weren't going to accomplish anything for quite some time now. They were always one of the most overrated teams over in the Western Conference. It was ridiculous. I know what Kawhi Leonard has done. I know how good he was and how good he can be when fully healthy. It, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. But I do want to say I am still actually a huge fan of the Clippers. This new arena and branding that they have done has made me a pretty big fan of theirs. So uh, yeah, see Bomber, even if you get rid of Kawhi Leonard, I would love to go to a game. Now, the next one I have is actually two teams, the Lakers and Warriors, because on one end, I understand what they're doing. I understand why they are keeping their team together and not making any trades and still trying to push for something. It's because you have two generational players who are still able to play at a very high level, just don't really have a future ahead of them. Steph Curry and LeBron, I'm not talking about AD and Draymond Green. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page here. But for the Warriors specifically, I feel like they have been a little bit more weird about it. Like they're stuck in this half generation where they want to keep some young talent. So when Steph Curry and Draymond retire, that they can, you know, continue to have a nice franchise and something to build around. But then they're also keeping them there and not really like using them to do anything else. So they're not really selling the young talent to get older guys to help Curry and Draymond. Like it's, it's just a weird situation, right? Whereas the Lakers are just all kind of old as fuck and drafted Ronnie for, you know, tickets and jerseys 
jersey sales. So I do understand both of their situations and why they are still trying to contend and be a mid team, but still, like, you know, you just you just gotta blow shit up soon, right? At least next year, maybe maybe the year after. The final team that I have, at least on my list that I prepared here, is the New Orleans Pelicans. Probably the most controversial pick that I have on here as well. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, and it's just gonna look like I'm a hater because they beat my Sacramento Kings six times in a row. I swear I'm not mad about that. I just have a feeling that this team has never gotten enough time together to really develop anything real, right? A lot of the time that Zion Williamson was out, he wasn't around the team. He wasn't really doing much. I remember he got called out for not being around his teammates and not pushing his chemistry, and they were kind of like, well, shit, Zion's on the team, but he's never here. But then as soon as Zion comes back, it's like Brandon Ingram is out, and then this person's gone, and then, you know, Jose Alvarado's out, and it's just like, they have been very unlucky with injuries. There is no doubt about that. And with them bringing in DeJounte Murray, like, they are going to be a solid team, but I still just, I don't see them being like this crazy good talent that can be a contender in the West. I don't. And maybe you can prove me wrong and maybe I'm just doubting this roster, but that's just the way I see it. I think that they should blow it up. They should get as much as they can for Zion, Brandon Ingram. They have good pieces that are going to be definitely worth something this year, but who knows after. Zion, God forbid, can go down with another injury and just like that, everyone sees him once again as an injury prone player and no one wants to give up a lot of stuff for him. You want to sell these stocks while they're high, but they're not going to blow things up because they just traded for DeJounte Murray. And I'm not as strong on the New Orleans Pelicans to, you know, blow it up as much as these other teams. But it is a team that I recognize for being mediocre almost every single year. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything, though, because I feel like I'm missing a couple teams. The Chicago Bulls blew things up. The Atlanta Hawks just got a number one pick, so they're obviously experimenting right now. The Nets are rebuilding. Raptors are rebuilding. Hornets are going to have a good season this year. I'm calling that shit right now. Wizards, Pistons are just going to always kind of be ass. Sacramento Kings are going to be champions this year. Houston Rockets are going to have themselves a very improved year as well. The Utah Jazz are rebuilding. Memphis Grizzlies are in a very weird stage right right now so we can't really talk about them san antonio spurs are obviously rebuilding as well and the portland trailblazers have nothing going on and no one to even trade if they wanted to so yeah this is the list that i'm going for if you're a fan of any of these teams this is not supposed to be some sort of attack towards you guys or towards your players or whatever your fan base and i'm actually 100 open to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments down below because if anyone knows anything about the teams i just talked about it is going to be their fans i only know so much as an outsider looking in so don't feel like you can't go down there and comment down below your opinions and maybe you do agree with me that you want the team to blow it up or maybe trade just this guy don't blow it up entirely let me know everything down in the comments below i read and respond to everyone if you did enjoy be sure to like and subscribe as well there should be a video up on the screen somewhere i, I don't know I, I always forget to put it up but if you want to watch it feel free to click it all right i'll see you guys all in the next one later